Hey guys, Liam Cattleson here, and it's a new season of My Hero Academia, which means new... Well, it doesn't usually, but... I mean, it's kind of fitting, isn't it? New season, new hairdo. Yeah. Anywho, um, yes, this is uh, episode one of the second season, which is That's the Idea, Ochako. Got it! I got it! Uh, I think I did, I don't know. The comments are a different thing to me, but I'm sure... I am 100% sure... Um, that I've pronounced right. Because um, I know how season one was, you know, still a s stepping stones in terms of learning and pronunciation for um, names. Uh, it, it, it's a bit, you know, of a stretch uh, for me with that. But uh, I I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Uh, Izuku. Um, I, I don't know. Some people pronounce uh, Bakugo's name um, like uh, Katsuki and uh, Katsuki. Katsuki, so I think it's Katsuki uh, as far as I'm aware, but uh, um, yeah, I'm uh, enough about that, enough about that. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to find out what's going to happen if season two, because season one was just, you know, proving that, because here's the idea, I know I'm going into a bit of, you know, uh, you know, talking about my life story, I guess, uh, they say, but, uh, you know, I always thought that, you know, anime would click with me. And here I am, I'm just absolutely loving My Hero Academia, and, you know, uh, a lot of people are saying, well, if you love this, then you'll love uh, Attack on Titans, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I think it is, yeah, um, I know there's a few others that a few of my friends uh, have suggested as well, so, um, yeah, this looks like to be the stepping stone into the anime world, making up for lost time. Um, but honestly, the first season was an absolute blast, and I'm hoping... I, well, I do expect, um, you know, season two to capitalise on season one, um, because that's, that's um, my thought process going from one season to the other. Like, well, especially from the first season to the second season, is you want to... Um, you know, improve on the pre on the first season, and you know this show is absolutely. Uh, I mean, it, it captivated me from the very first episode, so um, I can see only good things coming from this. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to you know check out the uh, first episode. So with that said, uh, the full reaction will be on Patreon uh, for those who are subscribed there. But yeah, let's. Check out the very first episode of season two. This is That's the Idea, Ochako. Looking forward to this. Let's go. Supported me. I am here now. On my way. Oh my god, this is a flash forward scene or something. My dream is becoming a reality. And though I've had oh, is this just... I keep pushing forward. Go on, Deku. Go my on. My journey is just beginning. You see, this is the story of Izuku Midoriya. Of how I become the world's greatest hero. I'm not gonna lie. Next, I'm a bit disappointed because I had a soft spot for the day has come. Ah, the aftermath of the USJ. Off to hesitate. He managed to save the life of a classmate. He may not have had a plan when he Not just a classmate, a uh, rival. To do something. I feel like watching this young man spring into action taught me something that day. And it reminded me of the virtues I must embody in order to call myself a pro. A hero. That's why... He's still got a lot to learn, hasn't he? I said to him. Young man, you, you too can, can become, become a hero. Then please take care of yourself as the seasons begin to change. Oh... I'll continue to keep you updated about what's happening. Sincerely yours. So, Toshinoi has found a worthy successor. Oh. Is that All Might's name? Nice. Our thing. We've got to track him down. I shot their ringleader, but once he heals up, yeah, he's you did. Doing something like the ringleader kept monologuing about the reasons he was there, and he bragged about the villains always monologues. But he never said a word about his own powers. When things didn't go his way, he was visibly upset. Like he was gonna throw a tantrum. Ugh. He's still a child, he was child I think. Those quirks was a quick way to draw me into a fight. That might be true, yes. But strategically, it was foolish to reveal his quirks up front instead of keeping them a secret. Hmm. Shigaraki made mm, wild, true. immature claims. They both have so much potential. 
And like our students, I suppose it's possible someone is guiding him, trying to nurture his malice and villainy. Ooh. Wouldn't be wrong. I don't want to think about what that could mean. I, I was going to say as well, like, was closed the day after the they're speculating the USJ. Uh, to Mura and, no, and everyone, but then, but they're still unknown about the people behind, like the TV and all of that. Still rewatching it <laughs> another ten thousand times. As I'm the one he chose, I'll make him proud. Is your food? Yeah. It's like a real stepping stone, uh, the OSJ. Fun. Well, it I'll was. Right there. Thanks, mom. Oh. <laughs> Those new muscles need lots of fuel. Kind of looks like fish fingers and custard. <laughs> the hero course that pumps out pros was attacked, and that's what they care about. Who knows what would have happened to us if the teachers hadn't shown up? Why did you say that? Oh, Manetta, shut up! Oh, shut up! Shut up, hair loser! Thank you! you. Oh my Thank God! You go. Thank you, girl! Thank you! That dude was super strong. Bring from his injuries. Huh? Morning class. Mr. Aizawa, what are you doing here? Oh! oh what a pro, Mr. Aizawa! I'm Still glad you're okay. <laughs> All that okay? He's still committed to teaching. Irrelevant. What's more important? The UA Sports Festival is about to start. Yes! Oh? Why would you scare us like that? <laughs> hey, sports day is a real concern, okay? But then quirks started appearing. Now the Olympics have been drastically reduced in terms of scale and viewership. Ooh. For anyone who cares about competition, there's only one tournament that matters. The UA Sports Festival. So I'm guessing this is... Kinda right. like the vital Happy festival in Ruby. If you want to go pro one day, then this event could open the path for you. It's like a nice boost. Year, Neat. Three chances in a lifetime. No aspiring hero can afford to miss this festival. That means so if you, you better not slack off on your training. Yeah, so if yes. you wanna go That's big one day. Take a fun event like the UA Festival. Out even when I'm standing still. That means the scouts won't be able to take their eyes off me. <laughs> Do you agree? No, no, no. You're so lucky, no. Shoji. People are bound to notice your unique quirk. Sure, but what matters is that I show them how useful I can be. No doubt you'll make a scene too. <laughs> <laughs> He's just getting us bullied. I'm so sorry. Let's do our best in the sports festival. Baraka, what happened it's to your face? Seriously, yeah, she's You're normally like the most laid back girl ever. Yeah, she's showing. To... Thank you, so just Everyone, kill him. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ooh, rock. Ooh, Jesus. Got it. You okay to be a hero so you can get rich? If we're cutting to the chase, then yeah. I'm sorry, oh shh. You two have such admirable motivation. Damn. I hope you don't think less of me now. Not at all. Your goal is to support your well-being, which is a perfectly admirable ambition to have. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of surprising. Get... Yeah. I wouldn't have expected that with Uraka. My family owns a construction company. But we haven't gotten any work lately, so we're flat broke. Anyway, oh. this isn't really something I usually tell other people, but... Construction, eh? <gasps> if she got licensed, I bet she could use her quirk to bring costs down a lot. And they could sell their heavy lifting equipment. She could float everything. I know, right? I've been telling Dad that since I was a But as your dad, I'd be even happier if you achieved your own dream. That's the way to make us happy. And if you do make money, you can take us to Hawaii or something. Oh, Chaco. Oh, Chaco, don't do this. Don't do this. I'll sign with a good agency and make plenty of money. Then I'll be able to let my parents have an easy life. It's admirable. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's so Teddy. Yes, he day, he day. Bravo, Doria is here. Oh, oh um, okay. Here? I just really love that backstory from Ochako. Oh, you with me? That's adorable. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> I just love sure that. You want to eat? <laughs> is something wrong? At this point, I can barely even look like All Might for an hour and a half. I'm so Gee. sorry. I should have just... <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to apologize for anything. Man, we are alike, you and me. Have some tea. 
Now have some coffee. I brought you here to talk about the festival. The problem is you still can't fully control one for all yet. So ah, and that's the problem. And since the festival is a big opportunity. Wait, I did once. Oh. When I went, this was the very first time ever that I Bing. used my power against a person. Eee. Like succeeded in subconsciously putting on the brakes so you wouldn't have to kill anyone. Hey, that's some kind of progress. Neat. It's just like She's getting cold. Like oh, literally. Well, that's that's um to not efficient tea, is it? How much time left as the world it's like literally stops. stepping on the brakes though. Soon I'll have to put that title to bed. Mm. No way. And some villains out there are starting to notice that. Someone has to step up and keep the people safe. Mm, I don't want all my to I go. I my power for one reason, because you will be the hero who takes my place. The entire country will be watching very closely. There's a lot of black pressure. This sports festival is your debut. You are the fledgling symbol of peace. The next all might. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I want God. you to introduce yourself to the world and proudly say, I am here. Oh my God. Okay, so that was a very first, uh, a very good first episode. Uh, time to, like, it's 4 p. This is the problem. It's 4 p.m. And... <sighs> It's getting dark, and I don't like it. Winters suck. Um, no, um, yeah, that was a really, really great first episode with a lot of explanation to, you know, Ochako's Ocha past. Uh, I really, really loved it, though, because at first it sounded really, really, like, sceptical as well when she was like, oh, you want to be in this for the money? But we found out a more, you know, kind of a heartbreaking reason to why she wants to do this to help her family out, which is really, really heroic. Uh, and I just love Tanya just, you know, um, free, well, he, he was just applauding Ochako for that, um, really, really nice story because it was, a, it, it, it was, a, it's really, really heartbreaking, especially when, you know, you're, you're such a, um, innocent soul like Ochaka. Well, apart from that, you know, phase where she was just like, okay, let's get ready to get nuts because she, because when, um, the sports festival was announced and, you know, she was raring to go, she was like ready. She was, she was going to eliminate all the competition, literally. And uh, no, in all seriousness, though, um, the, you know, character of Ochako and, you know, her past, y y your heart just, you know, melts, especially seeing that flashback scene when, you know, she was wanting to help her out, uh, help her family out, and her father was like, I would really admire it if you, I mean, it doesn't, it's, it's not like, it's a strained family relationship, it's just that, you know, it, it's, it's that s sweetness all over, like, Ochako's father doesn't want, you know, is being a bit selfless there by saying, I don't want you to sacrifice your own dreams and all of that. But Ochako's just like, but I, I really, really want to help uh, this family out. And I really, really, you know, love that story so much. So I really, really love the motivations to Ochako, like wanting to be a hero to help, her, uh, to, to help financially. Um, and it's really, because, I mean, we've already been alluded to the fact that, you know, some people do take up, uh, you know, do use their quirks for the betterment of uh, a profession. And, you know, that would, that, that's what Ochako wants at the end of the day. And it's really, really beautiful to see as well. So, yeah, I really, really loved that uh, bit of explanation uh, from o from Ochako and why she she feels so you know motivated to be a hero. To and she, I guess, not just help out, but her her strong because she. I mean, there's she she will of course obviously love to help out, but um, her main drive is to help her family financially as well, which is understandable. Like like I said, some pros do uh you know do seek a profession out of um the out of the fact that they've got their quirks um and yeah it's just really really great to see Ochako's generosity there trying to help her family out and like I said that flashback scene it was great to see you know not a, a strained relationship or whatever um I don't think we have 
seen really much of a of, of a strained relationship uh, in terms of this because sometimes shows like will see a, like I don't know it, it, you just worry like shows will see oh no this per- you you feel so bad for this person because they've got a you know strained relationship with their parents and all of that like Ruby Weiss you know and her father not really exactly the pleasant uh, relationship there. Um, but no, I, I really, really loved that scene about how he, you know, how, you know, her father was just, it, I wanted to go into it more and that's why I'm going into it now. It's just, I really, really loved it. And it was just a beautiful scene, like little old Chaco wanting to help. Her father's just like wanting her to, to have a better, like she, that's the thing. Her father wants her to have a great future. It's like... Forget about us. Like, it's you. You're important, kiddo. Um, but, you know, that's her heart screaming for helping her family. So I really, really loved that, you know, bit of insight to Ochako's family because it was really, really beautiful to see. Um, but yeah, um, moving on as well. Um, All Might as well. Oh. Um,. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't kidding when he said that battle at the USJ took a lot out of him. Because, what was it, three hours before? It's not even an hour now, like, uh, his ability to turn into All Might. So, that does suck. That does suck. Especially if we have, um, because we all, all, we all know that... Um, given the last episode with the guy with the tongue who is obviously creepy. No, he's, 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 I'm sure he's a lovely gem. Um, <laughs> um, not just that though, but Tumura, uh, the people on, like his masters, uh, and the fact that Nomu is locked away, uh, which opens the door for a potential prison break. You just worry, like, what will happen next time we, we have another big battle, because that was, the first, um, I guess that was the first experience for, um, the UA students. I mean, it was, it, it, it literally was out of who knows how many and all might, uh, of course, he's not going to think, you know, these kids are ready yet. So what if uh, another attack happens? All might has to step in and it, and again, we have that situation where the fight takes a lot out of him. It's just, <laughs> You just start to worry now, especially with, you know, how he keeps... To, I mean, he, we all know that Izuku is going to eventually surpass All Might in terms of... He even said it at the end, he, I want you to basically be the next... Like, well, we already gathered that with Wood for All, but he's, you know, directly saying this. Okay, I know my time's running short and, you know... With the fact that sports festival is observed by millions and is a good uh, opportunity for people to scout um, heroes in the making, I need you to basically harness uh, that that um, all might in you and be me, be, because my time is like it was already running short, but it literally is now with the fact that we've that I can only all might it up a bit for fifty minutes. I think it was 50. Yeah. Um, I, I could, I didn't want, cause I wanted to touch up upon that during the reaction, but yeah, I, I was so invested with everything else, uh, that had to be said. So that's why I didn't, you know, say, oh my God, he's, uh, and he can only, uh, you know, all might it up. That sounds like a really, really t- uh, cool term though. I should have said it earlier in like, uh, my hero academia reactions, but, uh, yeah, all might it up a bit. Um, yeah, uh, I couldn't say that during the reaction with everything else that was going on and, you know, wanting me wanting to pay close attention to everything without, you know, losing track and all of that. So, yeah, um, that's why, you know, you save that for this part, I guess. Um, yeah, um, and plus it's a big, big talking point. Uh, like I've just alluded to with the fact that we are going to... I mean, it's not like the USJ attack was the only battle we're ever going to... Like, the only big battle we're going to see in My Hero Academia. And the fact that these kids are not, you know, exactly uh, pros, I guess, um, yet. And they're still trying to learn everything. All Might might need to step in once again. And that 50 could reduce to 5 minutes, potentially. Who knows? 
it's just really, really scary at this point. Um, like, especially with, I mean, he, like I said, he wasn't kidding when he said that fight with Nomu took a lot out of him because it was three hours. And now to hear that he, his ability is, is gone from like three to, to two hours. It's, it's absolutely scary. And it, and it makes you think as well, actually. Um, you know, when he said, I, you know, I could, you know, in my prime, I could probably take down Nomu with like, what was it? Five moves. It took 300. I, I was saying, I'm, I'm not sure if he was exaggerating. No, I, I don't think he was, uh, considering, you know, how much of a gap, um, that battle alone, um, took out of all night. Uh, yeah. Like I said, like I said, it, it's probably not an exaggeration now. Um, you just think it's uncanny that there's such a big gap. Like, oh, I could take him down with five moves in, in my prime, but you know, this I took three hundred. It's a pretty big gap that makes you think he's exaggerating. But with All Might revealed in this episode, nah, not happening. So um, yeah, I mean, it's absolutely scary stuff, um, and you just feel for All Might. But like I said, I really. I loved all, I mean, All Might's one of my favourite characters, not just with the fact that he's got such a really, really, really wonderful personality and his connection with Izuku is so heartwarming, especially, um, you know, that scene where he popped out like, uh, hey, do you want to have lunch? I thought that was really, really brilliant, uh, especially after the heartwarming scene we got with Ochako um, and Ted and E, they just like fanboy me up a bit. Um but it's the fact that any scene he appears in is really, really um, top quality in my eyes. Like, there's a lot of um, passion behind the writing of All Might. Um, going back to the first scene where he was writing a letter to his teacher, uh, which was really, really nice. He was talking about Izuku and how he still needed to learn a lot, which he, which he, st like, uh, going back to episode two where he said he, he still needed to basically, uh, he's still in this position where he, he, he should be learning a lot more. Like he's like, he, this is what I was going on about. I think in my previous reaction, he might be revered as one of the most adored heroes of, um, the world, but I feel like he's still got a lot to learn, and and he pointed that out in the last episode, in 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 this episode, in the first scene. So I really, really, you know, loved uh, that scene, and the scene with him, you know, talking about how he wants Izuku to basically be all my end, say, I am here, basically. Just be that person because time is running out. So, yeah. As well as the, you know, scene they were talking about Tamura, uh, Kuri, uh, Kuriguri, um, um, not acknowledging the fact about their masters because they haven't, haven't the slightest. Um, and I really, really loved that analogy that, uh, Tamura is basically like a, a, spo a spoiled brat. He's like a, he's like a, a, a child throwing, it, cause it, it literally was. Like, I, I, I remember making that comment about, um, you know, Tomuru basically being like, he cheated him, like, oh, you've thrown your toys out the prime. It's literally that. Um, so I really, really, you know, loved that discussion and how he was saying, like, there's this uh, path of evil that Tamura is being driven to, um, similar to this path of heroism, I guess, that um, the students are being drawn to. Um, so, yeah, it was just really, really great stuff. And, of course, we are... Um, I guess we're going to be focusing a, a bit on the UA Sports Festival. Um Considering how much of an important event that is, it's going to be like uh, volume three of Ruby in a sense, where we where we um, spent a bit of time on the vital tournament. Um, yeah, we spent a bit of time. I think we spent like well, we spent most of the volume focused on that, um, and then afterwards, nothing happened, did it? <laughs> um, no, um, just watch. It's going to happen here again, like. The I'm not I'm not even gonna say anything, but it, it, something bad's gonna happen after this festival. I just know it. No, um, yeah, we we got some talking thanks to Aizawa, who you know basically said, you know what, no hospital bed is gonna keep me down. I am still teaching these kids. Damn it. So yeah, um, I really really you know 
admired that from Aizawa, but he was talking about how important the festival is. I've alluded already to the fact that we, we've we gotten to appreciate the fact that, um, you know, hero pros, you know, do take this event with, you know, heavy interest and uh, they take it seriously with the fact that they could, uh, you know, be looking for the next sidekick and all of that. Um, so I really, really, you know, enjoyed, you know, how much importance this, uh, how much importance this event has already with the fact that, you know, um, it's surpassed the World, uh, World Cup. No, that's a completely different thing, but the Olympics. Um, and like, it's really, really important. It, uh, if you want to become a hero, um, it's, it's like, you know, you don't have to do it, but if you want to succeed in life, then, yeah, you better shape up because we're going to kick some ass. Surely, surely. Um, especially if Uraraka is determined like she is. Like, she was ready to destroy a bitch, literally. <laughs> um, I guess I guess that's mood. That's her mood. Like, she is ready. She is ready. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm really interested to, to, going, uh, to go into this uh, event. And hopefully it won't be as happy as the Vital Festival in Ruby. Um, no, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how, um, you know, this uh, event goes down because, you know, it it, it, it seems very, very intriguing um, from the basis of, of it, and I'm really looking forward to it. But other than that, yeah, it was a great starting point for My Hero Academia Season 2. Looking forward to checking out the, the rest uh, of, of Season 2. It's already looking to be a great start. So yeah, awesome stuff to begin with. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!